we, um, the Sinai Airport Authority has been in existence since 1965, uh, formerly the Schilling Air Force Base Strategic Air Command. And our mission is to create jobs and payroll that will help sustain not only Salina and Slane County, but North Central Kansas. Um, we own and operate the Salina Regional Airport, as well as operate the Salina Airport Industrial Center. We manage nearly 3,000 acres of land and almost a million square feet of property. Um, the economic impact, as you might imagine, uh, for that is very significant. Um, we have currently over 100 business Businesses that call the Salina Regional Airport, Salina Airport Industrial Center home. Um, the payroll for that is in excess of $140 million per year and almost 4,000 employees. So the mission of the Airport Authority and you know not only to um, create um, that economic engine but to also provide the infrastructure and the means for the you know the traveling public to have access to the national air transportation system. Um, we're also a very popular location for business jets um, as a mid-continent refueling stop. We'll see nearly 7,000 corporate business aviation aircraft each year stopping in and uh, refueling using the services of our world-class FBO Aflight here in Salina. Of course, um, our leadership, uh, we are governed by a five-member board of directors, and we've been very fortunate that our leadership has always been the top leaders and, and civic, community-minded businessmen and women of, of Salina. The uh, board of directors is responsible for hiring the executive director, Tim Rogers, who has been at, the, been at the helm for over 30 years now, and Tim's responsibility is to, of course, hire and manage the staff. We have uh, three three managers, and we're we have an administrative staff that, of course, handles the the leasing of the property and the overall management of the airport airport industrial center. And then, from an operational maintenance side, we're we're divided up into two different categories. We have our airfield operations and. Um, security and those folks are responsible for you know making sure that the runways and the taxiways and our infrastructure is ready to to receive the aircraft and the folks using the airport and then we have um, aircraft rescue and firefighting personnel we have uh, a new fire station I say new it's been here a couple years now um, on the north end of the field and that's where we have our firefighting apparatus we also have a building maintenance crew that their primary responsibility responsibility is making sure that the facilities that we occupy and also the facilities that are leased by our tenants are in good shape and um, provide those facilities that the businesses can use and, and conduct their business. So we have around 13 full-time employees and four part-time employees. We also have a partnership with Kansas State University Salina, which is one of our larger tenants on on the field of the airport and they actually have an airport management program so we're fortunate to partner with the university and you'll often see airport management uh, interns on the airport that will be helping all aspects of running the airport and industrial center well I've been in this position for 17 years and have been with the organization for 19 years and I can't remember anybody other than Next Tech for our phone service. So we've been with them for well over a decade. And that's how it started out. Uh, they put in our, our phone system and actually it's, we haven't changed. The, we're still using the Toshiba phones that we have been using. So very high quality, high quality product. As technology has changed and the need for the airport to stay up to date with technology, we've gradually been using Next Tech for more, uh, more services. Because we manage so much property, many of our hangar facilities and manufacturing facilities require a uh, fire suppression system that has to be monitored. So Next Tech provides the, the phone lines for those fire alarms. They also provide the uh, phone lines um, for our larger facilities that are under a Kansas Gas Service Transport account. We have to have monitoring of the gas delivered, so Next Tech provides the phone lines for that. 
We just recently began using Next Tech's um, technology as a service program, which has been uh, a very good program for the airport authority. We're not large enough to have our own IT staff, so we all have to work together and, and do our part. So Next Tech is serving as our as our contract IT staff. The um, we had a situation where our server was failing and we really didn't have it in the budget to have the capital investment to buy a brand new server and Jim Olmstead, our account rep, came up with the, and introduced us to the technology as a service program. So now for a very economical monthly rate, our data server is provided and that comes with the, with the service so I don't have to worry about restarting the server every night or performing any maintenance checks on it. And also what is important for us is the, the backup um, because we have to be able to comply with federal aviation regulations and the airport doesn't close. If we have a situation where something were to happen to the terminal building, we have to be able to serve as incident command somewhere on the airfield or another location. And so with the offsite backup, it would be very easy for us to acquire additional equipment and then be able to retrieve the backup from the location out of Victoria. Well, I've been dealing with Salina Airport Authority for probably 10, 15 years. Um, I started out, I sold them the uh, their local phone service, long distance phone service. Um, we started kind of with that pro particular product and uh, then we sold them a phone system um, and able to do phone system and voicemail for them. And then it's led them to be able to sell them some cameras, um, some IT services. We now do pretty much all their IT services. So we've kind of bundled everything into one nice package. And uh, we also do cable a lot of their facilities throughout the airport. I think we've cabled three or four of their facilities around here. So. Um, it's worked out to be a very good relationship on that part. Very much so. Particularly, um, of course, the backup is is is, is very important, um, especially in the transportation industry, where you have to have your emergency procedures in place. You can't afford a shutdown of, of any kind. And the days of using the old tapes and having to take them to a safety deposit box, a bank somewhere, is just not very efficient. Plus you have, you know, the you know, will that tape work when I actually need to have the information and can you get back up quickly? You know, so disaster recovery is is very important outstanding. One of the things that um, the Airport Authority has really benefited from is the multidiscipline um, you know, aspect of Next Tech, whether it's you know, IT technology or um, technology related to security cameras, phone systems, um, VHF, UHF radio systems. They can help in all those areas. And when we have larger projects, um, Jim is very good about about bringing together the team members from Next Tech that have those areas of expertise, bringing them in to sit down with our facility managers and planners and put together a package that not only will work for us, but that will come in under budget and, and meet with our financial plan that we have in place. The responsiveness is very good. One of the tools that they have is their, of course, their, their web portal, which is fantastic. If you have an issue, um, all you need to do is log on. If it is an issue that is you know um, you know minor and you don't need an answer today you can input it as you know low you know very low uh, necessity for somebody to come out immediately or you can put it as an emergency response and they'll react very quickly and they've done a great job for us when when we're down they have someone out usually we have an answer within 30 minutes and we know when someone's coming out and how how long our downtime will be or will not be Oh yeah, it makes it pretty simple as far as, you know, we do all the projects ourselves, so there's no really third parties are involved, so if there is a problem or an issue, we can take care of it internally. Um, the other thing is, is that we can uh, uh, put it all on the same bill, makes it easy for the customer, and Shelly knows that if uh, there's a problem or anything like that, she can call me and we'll get somebody out to take care of it, so.
It's very important for the Sline Airport Authority that we support our local businesses and local vendors, being that our mission is all about creating and sustaining jobs and payroll for the community. That's that's very important. Plus, we have the employees that work with Nextech that live and work here, and we know them, and we're very comfortable with that relationship. Well, we have good staff here in Salina. I mean, we have. Uh, uh, six or seven technicians here they're able to service them um, we've got guys we can throw at all kinds of different projects whether that be the phone system project the cabling project or cameras uh, climbing towers I mean we have all kinds of staff members here in Solana that can take care of them on all that so kind of bring the whole package to uh, the airport authority so you know, one of the things that we will all start to have to look at in the in the aviation and transportation business is just continuing to be able to collect and store real-time data. Um, one of the things we'll be looking at in the future is for our airfields, runway, uh, taxiway inspections um, is doing, instead of doing that um, by hand and collecting the information and then taking it back to the base to record everything and enter it into the computer is going to a technology where you actually have an iPad and you're entering that information directly and it's it's going to the reporting agencies immediately and I think next tech will work great with us they've they've got a great team and they've been helping us stay on that on the leading edge without having a significant uh, negative impact on our overall budget